it is time. It is time to brew your best beer. an IPA I brewed. I don't know if this is going to be my SJ Pour Challenge 2014 beer or not. And I did something I've never done before. I dry hopped this one. The blend is 5 ounces of Simcoe, 2.5 ounces of Autonom, 0.5 ounces of Warrior, and 0.5 ounces of Amarillo. So that was the blend for each of these uh, five gallon carbolins. It was in primary for two weeks and then I dry hopped it. And you guys that have done dry hopping know that when you put your hops in, which a copious amount of hops uh, I put in it, this uh, it started to show a lot of airlock activity and after, even after 10 days uh, this one here is still continuing to uh, bubble but I, I don't think it's fermenting I think it's just the uh, well I was read I read on homebrew talk that there is CO in the in the hops and it's uh, probably just that releasing out of the beer I um, I opened up this one and took a smell and the aroma is uh, is terrific so I'm really looking forward to seeing how these are uh, how these come out I've made a number of IPAs uh, some have been just so bitter too bitter really and uh, didn't have as much of the uh, aroma and just the hop fragrance that I was hoping to get so this is a you know a new thing for me dry hopping hopefully getting that aroma uh, this recipe did have a, quite a bit of hops in it so uh, it could be pretty bitter too I tasted it and uh, when I put it into these secondary vessels and it was uh, it was it was pretty good it was pretty it was pretty um, pretty bitter uh, but um, I'm hoping that it balances out uh, with this uh, dry hop mixture. Something else I'm doing today that I haven't done before is going to be using these uh, plastic PET bottles. I've never used those before so that'll be a new thing for me as well today. Well I'll, uh, I know you guys have probably all seen uh, bottling videos uh, I will video this and see if there's anything that is uh, worthy to see and uh, we'll check back with you later. The corn sugar is in the bottom of the bottling bucket. the second one down to uh, the bottling bucket and you can see I have the first 24 I actually got 24 16 ounces I think that's the size of those and then another uh, six pack of 12 ounces out of the first uh, carboy so we'll see what the volume is on this one. You can see I, I'm not sure what I can do with that. I would like to salvage that somehow, but uh, I think I'll 
weight. I'm not going to put all that into uh, any beers that I potentially could be sending out. I want to make it uh, as clean as possible. Take a look over here. You can see my operation. Probably similar to everybody. Put down a big towel because you're going to have some. I've got two buckets of uh, sanitizer over there. More bottles to wash if I uh, need them. Wash and sanitize. So that's that's the operation. One thing I do that I thought was a pretty good tip from my from my homebrew supply store is I take my corn sugar. I measure five ounces for a five gallon batch and then I use uh, reverse osmosis water and I just cover the sugar so it usually comes to about three-fourths of a cup if I uh, if I do that I end up just covering the, the sugar with the water and then I microwave that till it's clear and then I add that to the bottom of the buck bottling bucket. That works really well for me. I've never had any that were over carbonated and I don't change it up based on the style of beer I'm doing. So. Alright, well I just uh, finished bottling and did all the cleanup. I forget how much work bottling is, especially when you're bottling 10 gallons. And I think it's going to, I wanted to, uh, I was happy with where the gravity ended up about 1.010. So um, I think uh, I think that's probably about as dry as it's going to get with that yeast strain. I used a English English ale yeast. I think it's well. I'll put it down below, but I think it's uh, White Labs uh, W L P zero seven. Maybe not. But I thought I'd give it a little taste here. This has been. Uh, now dry hop for 10 days. I put it in the fridge to, to chill it down. Wow, lots, lots of hop. Lots of hop uh, flavor. Uh, the, the aroma is is pretty awesome just just bottling it uh, it was terrific well pretty good. We'll see uh, how that turns out after it's bottle conditioned. I also have another 10 gallons of, uh, of an IPA that's in uh, primary right now. i got to move that over to secondary and I think I will dry hop that one as well. I was surprised by the dry hopping how well you, you do lose uh, quite a bit of volume and you do, uh, I guess what surprised me was how active it seemed. It seemed like the fermentation started all over again. So, um, I mean, even the, the churning uh, seemed like it kicked off. I think when I first did the gravity reading, I can't remember what I had. I think it was 1.01 two or one three so it dropped a couple of points um, 
dropping uh, with the uh, with the dry hopping. This kind of reminds me of Hopzar from Bridgeport out of Oregon and uh, see it's pretty clear I mean Wow, and that's so fresh. I mean, those hops are are so awesome. That's good. That's a pellet wrecker. 